Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Now that we've had a drink and a bite to eat, we can continue on with our tale. We had met up with Khadgar, and he had teleported us back to Draenor, which is what Outland used to be. Yes, we had gone back in time. Right behind us, right here. In progress, available followers. There, Rulkan! Rule can is available, so she's got hex, which counters that one. Let's go to missions. Nope, nope, and uh, nope. Okay, well I'll just go with that one. Rule can can go in there. Seventy-seven percent chance. She might, she might not. We'll have to wait and see. And then we want to go out here. I've got some more stuff, so I can set some more work orders going. We want to get as many work orders running as we possibly can. So I need to. I want to go down here, and I want to speak to not Tommy Joe. I want to speak Good to you. Good day to you. Work orders. There's a furry caged beast. I got one there. I then we also got some elix, didn't we? Create another four of them. I got Safe one travels. work order open. So we've actually got eleven beasts in that lot. So those will be all waiting until I next come back and do something. Which, for you lot, probably won't be very long. Uh, there's three more. That leaves just three work orders open for Drenic Stone. And that's all of it. And once again, just stepping outside, we have a full garrison cache. Just like that. It's very, very easy to get a full garrison cache. Uh, we'll go back in here. And we'll do this. I'm going to run through these quickly. We haven't got all that many quest this time round, but it's, it's nice to be able to sort of work through some of the daily material as well that we get. Okay, so we missed that one out. We got 162% chance. We got that one, so we get the bonus on here, which is an additional 300 XP. We get 54% chance and failed that one, unfortunately. Still, at least Shelly Hamley's got some um, success there. Cookie right there was done. Well, that one was going to be a guaranteed 100%. We got Legion Chili. Restores. We spent at least 10 seconds. So, yeah, we, we get a little bit of Legion Chili with that one. And then we got Rollcore right here. Mission success. All three of them there. So, those have leveled up. And then we get this, which is an additional 600 XP as well. So, all three leveled up, which is absolutely fantastic. So, we, our followers are doing well. We've already got some up to level 94. Those are level 90. Don't worry about getting green followers, right? Because all followers eventually turn into um, purple quality followers. It just takes them a little while to get there. Uh, some of them are quicker at doing that than others. So, you, honestly, you don't need to worry about that. It's, it's not going to be any issues whatsoever. Clean the latrine five minutes with bonus right there. Five minutes swamp. It's best not to lose a bet with the janitor. Right, well, Shelly Hamby, uh, Shelly Hamby, as she's the, the very lowest one there, we'll give her that one. So there's a 100% chance. Five minutes, she'll do that, and then she's guaranteed a little bit of XP, which is going to help her out immensely. And... You know, I'm just going to leave that a second. I'm, I'm going to let the people carry on and do whatever they're doing. And I'm going to run out here. And we're just going to very quickly dash around the rest of the bits that we've got in here. So we had a a few orders that we left here with the barn. We had a several work orders. So we've got 48 sumptuous fur. We've got 11 apexes crystals. And we've got 40 raw beast hides as well. We've, still, we've got our trap that we can use. So we'll be able to keep going with that one. And oop, a little bit laggy there. And I'm getting stuck on things up there. Right, now we can come down here and we can get these. So we've got 24 gear spring parts, two sorcerers air, two sorcerers fires as well. Good at work orders. Good day to you. Good day to you as well. 12 of 12 work orders available at the moment. And I need one more little bit of create all. I'm shy one bit of ore to make all of the Have orders a good in there. One. Uh, that's not going to take long to get the rest of them. And we can go Skyborn once again. We will see about capturing some more pets for the barn. Uh, more pets and more animals for the barn. Uh, we won't worry about them just for a second. Next up, we're going to go over here. And we're going to... Actually, I should have come over this side first. 
Uh, that's Kinder right there. Hello, Kinder. Soul Chaser. I uh, have a look in here. I got 35 true iron, black rock ore, apexes, crystals in there. We will head down into the mine and we will go and do this stuff in here. So I'll drink a bit of miner's coffee like that so that we can run along a little bit faster and start grabbing as much stuff as we possibly can down through here. So at the moment, my account does not have flying unlocked in Legion zones, which is the zones we'll be doing after this. Nor do I have flying unlocked in um, the latest zones, and I think that we are now able to do that. Now, I haven't actually played Warcraft in my own time since around Christmas. So it's been a long time since I was actually playing Warcraft on my own time. Um... But I would seriously consider going and spending a bit of time playing Warcraft at the weekends. If you thought, you the viewers, thought that I should get flying in either Legion or the latest zones. Now, I was actually thinking that it could be interesting to not get flying in Legion yet. But to do the Legion zones the first time round with Grundorn without flying. No flying whatsoever. Uh, do that sort of how the game was released. I already did a series with Frithgar when the um, the other expansion first came out, uh, the Battle of Razoroth. I've already gone through and I've done that on Frithgar. So we've already got a full series with me without um, flying. So I could go through and I could get flying ready on that one, which would definitely make life a lot easier for us if I was to go and do that. Um, but the... So I'm I'm seriously tempted to go and do that. Maybe start playing a bit at my... We, I, do, I do not get a lot of um, personal time for gaming anymore. Um, I get maybe one evening a week. And I generally log on and spend 45 minutes messing around with my auctions uh, once a week at the weekend. Um, so it's pretty slow going with making any money with my auctioneer character as well. Because I only do it once a week. Um... But I do still do it a bit, and then I, I play a few other games as well. I, I like to play a variety of games, as many of you many of you know. And I generally spend my when I'm doing a bit of gaming time at weekends. I generally use that time to play games that I don't play for series during the week. And because I already play Warcraft, don't generally play it very much at the weekends. Um, you know, other than auctions. But would you like me to have flying? in those zones so like i said i am thinking legion zones no flying just so that you can sort of see what that's like without the flying to start with and i know that if any of you actually play you'll see it anyway you'll know what that's like uh but would you be interested is this something that would interest you or not do you, would you like to actually see me um would you prefer to see me with flying or would you prefer to see me running around on foot for both the Legion and the Battle for Azeroth zones. Let me know this week. Uh, let me know in the comments section which would you rather see me do. And if you really do want me to be... There's our mission complete. That's perfect. We can head back over to the garrison now. If you do really want me to um, go and get the flying, then I'll start putting in a little bit of time here and there if I can to try and get the flying ready for our series, especially for the Battle of Azeroth one. That's the one that I think that we would probably benefit from it. Um, but right, I can create all here. I'm only able to get six of them so far. So if we can get some more Dranic Stone later on, that would definitely improve matters. But it sometimes takes a while to earn enough Dranic Stone to get the mining ones. We'll go over and we'll take the next fishing one. Jawless Skulker. Where are those found? We need to stock the garrison pond with local fish. I need you to search the waters in Gorgron for fish that we can stock up with. Once you have the fish, you'll need to slice them up and look for eggs inside. Right. We've got to head to Gorgron for that one. That's uh, a zone that we haven't actually flown into yet. And it's a zone that we probably won't be doing in this series. Uh... Right, there is one thing that I want to do down here. I want to go to you, and I want to go to work How orders. Create the final one that See I can around. get in there. And I will also go... Good day to you. Right there. I've already got that one, which I have learned. 
See what do around. we need to make that one? I didn't actually see. I didn't actually check what we needed to make it. Uh, Blingtron 5000. It's just 100 gear spring parts. And then we can make the toy for the Blingtron 5000. So we haven't quite got that yet, but I'm hoping by next week's lot of recording, we should be able to get that. All right, that's pretty good. I, I like that idea. Uh, ultimate Gnomish Army Knife. Well, a lot of these things just require gear spring parts in order to be able to advance. So here, Secrets of Drenner Engineering, create. Make that once per day. And then gear spring parts themselves. We've got enough materials. I can go and make one of those. That gets me four, and then I get extra is my um, skill. I get nine of them. Two air and a fire. Our Drenner Engineering is increased up to seven now with those two. Yeah, I can speak to him and we can buy another thing. So we'll just start working our way through now and buying all of these. So we haven't done that one right there. Diddy's Delicate Assembly re-rolls the secondary stats when engineered gun or goggles. With item level 136 or higher. Yeah, see, I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost certainly never going to use that. Mechanical Axe Beak. Now that makes a pet. That's a, that, I feel, would probably be a pretty useful good one, one. If, if we can actually make a pet. So we'll learn that one there. I had something. I don't know what was in that square right there. We'll move that one. Okay. Oh, I know what it would have been. The thing that I just used to buy the thing. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. I know what I'm talking about. Sharpened fish hook. We want that one because... Oh, wait a minute. That increases fishing by 9 or 10. What about the fish hook that automatically fillets anything that you find? That was a pretty good fish hook. For the fishing quests, at least. We don't have one. Well, that's a shame. That is that is that is a, a terrible, terrible shame. Right. Next, we'll go back into the garrison, and we will do that bit, and then we will head into Gorgronda, and we will do the fishing quest. So we'll go over this way, and scramble up there. Right. Complete that one there. One hundred. We got fifty XP there. Sorry. And another hundred XP bonus for completing it. Not enough to level her up, unfortunately, but it's enough to keep things ticking over. Now, let's go. We've got a 30-minute one follower. That's two followers there. That one is one. So let's go with the two. It's 45 moon We go with that one. Uh, Delira Moonfang. That will actually... Because she's unfortunately low level, contributes less to the success. It's, it's over quicker. And we do that. So we've got a 93% chance of completing that in 22 minutes. I'll take that. I think that's some pretty good odds, really. Uh, that one is an hour and a half. That's 10. That's 45 minutes there. Uh, your... Right, let's go with this one. I definitely want to take Artificia, uh, Artificer Rommel. I'll put him in there. So let's put it up to a 76. And we'll take the most powerful one we've got, Delvar. That gives us 84% chance. Right, now we've got a 30-minute mission. And I got an... Um, that's a 30-minute mission. I want to take the short ones to start with. Just because it's... A little bit easier to try and go through them. Right, that one there. I don't have anybody that's able to complete this mission. Right there. It's only a 78% chance. And that one there is... Although this XP boost, I don't want those anyway. I got no use for that. So I could go here and I could send Rulkan on that one. She's low level. Even though this only requires level 93, she's still low level for it. Which means she's only got a 46% chance of being able to do it. And she gets a reduced amount of XP if she does the mission anyway. So I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to leave those. We'll let those missions uh, tick through. And then we can send some people out on the longer missions. The next thing that we want to do... Let's just check a map a second. Zoom out here and zoom out again. And it's Gorgrond that we need to get to. We don't have any flight points here in Gorgrond. I do, however, have Godric Gray. Seek Irel, Irel, Irel. Commander, Ur oh, Ural, 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 wasn't it? Is it Ural? I can't remember how they uh, were pronounced. Ural and Marad have a tactical suggestion. They recommend a small expedition group be sent into the savage wastelands of Gorgron, far to the north. Reports from the Rangari suggest that the land may hold ancient secrets or primal knowledge that we might use to exploit weaknesses in the next Iron Horde. A in the Iron Horde that our enemy would not expect. If you wish to go, I will have a griffin prepared for you at once. Now, 
we're still doing part of the story, I think, with Irul over in this zone. So it's kind of like splits it a little bit, which makes it odd. But at least we'll have a flight point up there. Go with honor, so I'm friend. going to accept that quest. I'm going to do it. I don't plan on doing the quests up in Gorgrond. Um, I asked you all last week. Uh, I don't think anybody was too fussed about that one, to be honest. Um, I be with you. Hang on, let me get rid of that there. Right. Wildwood Wash. Is that where I'm supposed to be going? Of the Alliance. King's honor, friend. Right, Sojourn. What if it's Take up careful. there? Where am I supposed to go? Uh, speak with your garrison, Griffin, at the Wildwood Wash. Three. Right, it is up there. So, yeah, he has done it. So, Play. we want to just hop onto that one and he'll fly us up there um, nice and quick. Uh, yeah, I asked last week where you wanted me to go to do my next lot of leveling. Although it's starting to look more and more like we're not even going to leave Shadow Moon Valley before we finish doing leveling. Did you want me to go to Nagrand or did you want me to do the Spires of Iraq? And I think it was... I, I, there wasn't... Well, we, we all know that not many people watch this series. And I don't think there was any difference between... Um, people saying this what this zone here and this zone over here. So I'll sort of see what I'm feeling. Unless I get uh, particular requests coming in on the uh, comment sections, I will probably go with the spires this time, and then we'll worry about doing these others. Because Gorgrond, you get that one that quest opened up pretty quickly. You don't really need to do the Shadow Moon Valley quests. Um, you just get the garrison started. And then you head off to Gorgron, and you can start doing stuff up there instead. The thing that I like about Gorgron is the jungleness of it. Right? It's definitely a large, vibrant jungle through most of it. And it is quite cool. There's a very strong Stranglethorn Vale feel about this place. And also Ungoro Crater as well. It's, it's, it's very reminiscent of both of those zones. Uh, which I quite like. I really like the... But then I also like desert zones. Um, this is something that's quite... It seems a little bit odd to me, personally, because I'm not a big fan of really hot weather. Uh, I struggle with it. I have red hair, and I, I struggle with it. I, I, I burn, I end up looking like a lobster. Many leagues of deadly nice. land yet stand between us and the Black Rock. Okay. I'm not going to take that. I'm not going to uh, finish that quest. I'm. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to uh, continue on. Hang on. Let's say goodbye to Kinda. Because if you if you take if you turn in the quest, it basically sort of kickstarts the the whole thing up here, and you do a lot of travelling around and following the quest line. I don't really want to do that. All I want to do at the moment is do my fishing. So we'll leave that one. Um, I may even abandon that quest at some point and we'll come back and we'll do that with another character. The one thing with sort of the way that I'm approaching World of Warcraft at the moment is I'm almost all of my World of Warcraft experiences are being recorded and turned into videos for your viewing pleasure. So I'm not actually doing very much at all. We've got a bonus objective in here. I'm not doing very much at all. Jawless, oh, that's the ones that we want. Um, for, you know, like off screen. And things like doing all of this, doing the fishing and, and stuff like that, that I'm about to get started on right now. Um, and other things like that, like I'm, I'm doing them on the video. I'm, I'm not sort of spending ages and ages going and doing these all in my own time. And so when we come to things like building up uh, a fishing skill on a single character or unlocking flying or something like that that takes a considerable amount of effort on one character in order to be able to achieve those things and one thing i'm not sure about is do you want me to be doing this stuff on a single character on screen do you want me to be making videos of it do you want me to like finish up legion and battle for azeroth in with characters just as they are and then go through and earn the, the right to the flying mounts on them on screen so that you can see it all happening or is that not really something that you want to see happening and you would instead rather I did a couple of those things off screen well, well uh, earning the flying at least off screen 
Uh, I'm not sure how much else I will be doing off screen. It sort of depends on what time I get and, and so on. You, you know all about that. Ooh! Right, I... Hang on. Let's just get out of here. Right, I've got remains of... Bald, Baldia Deep Rock right there, but I've also got a whole load of snakes. Now, over there, we've got the fishing that we want to do. But, yeah. I've... I got snakes. We got snakes in here. We want to get them out because I want to be able to get that lot down there. Right. Um, I will go like this. We will take these snakes down. These are obviously set here to protect the the remains down there. So we want to try and work our way through it if we can. Take these out. Actually, these, these are very, very I'm easily taken range. care of. There's, there's another one over there. I hope that we can get rid of these quick so that we can get in. Right, there's no loot off of these. They are just there to protect this one. Remains of Boldia. There. Diary of Boldia Deep Rock. 16 gold for that. Now, I'm going to go away from the water snake. We've got the achievement. Wait, they come out onto land? It's not part of the master plan. Treasure Hunter. Right, they discover 10 treasures of treasures of Drenor, excluding the Tanan Jungle Zone. Now we flap on over this side, and so that little treasure that we picked up is worth 16 gold. Oop, nope, there. Uh, right there, six, almost 17 gold. The waterlog page is mostly faded, but you can make out some piece about field testing a poison immunity. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that the poison immunity thing didn't work quite as well as he hoped. Now, this is the thing. It, they put these fishing... That's, I'm nowhere near that fishing node. How am I even supposed to be able to reach that fishing node? Let's go and stand... Maybe I have to stand on this tree. Maybe that's the idea. There. Right. If I go on... I can't do that. Because that puts me off the edge of the tree. So, yeah, that, that doesn't work there. That. Go forward a bit. Right. Like that. And... Yeah, that's, that's not... That's not pushing me out as far over as I need to be to be able to reach that Jawless Skulker school. I'm, I'm nowhere near it. That's, oh, that's a small one. Right, I'm not reaching it from here. And I'm also not reaching it from over here on the edge of the bank. I can stand here and get as close to it as I can from there. And I'm still not reaching it. I don't understand this, so you... Hang on. No, there was one other. I had a potion, which I don't have anymore because I sent it off to another character. What? There's a potion of water walking that I had previously. And I said I decided that I probably wouldn't need that, and I sent it off to one of the other characters because I didn't think that I would want it. It's about as close as I'm going to get, I think. It might get close enough. Nope, that's not even close. Oh, that might be. That one there might be, but now I'm under attack. That's... That's really not helpful. That's really, really not helpful. I almost like... A, no, is that in the school or not? I'll find out in a minute. If that one reaches, then perfect. Jawless Skulker Bait. No, that didn't reach. Right, let's forget about this school. I've got another snake coming in anyway. We're going to forget about that one. We're going to come and find another one. That one's just going to frustrate me immensely. It really is. Now, we've got some ore down here somewhere. Where's that? Uh... Okay, well, apparently we don't have any ore there. I thought we did, but we don't. I don't know if there's anything around here. Let's head over through this bit. There's lots and lots of water over here. There's pets all the way down through there. We could probably catch a few of them. 
There's a lot of them that I haven't got in this zone. Lots of them that I haven't got in this zone. Okay, there's nothing here in this, this blood zone. The heart of the fen. There's nothing down here. So it's gone up. There's, oh, there's some more ponds up over that way. So maybe we maybe there's some water up here that we can go for. Probably not in that one where the water is actually on fire, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm thinking that maybe that's, that's not a thing that's um, particularly good. I'll go like that and knock one of them out. You over here. I have got issues. We've got people coming in all over from this one. Actually, we've got some serious issues going on now. I'll do that and I want to do that and heal up. There we go. Right, if I t I'll take down the big dude first. I've already the very small dude has already gone. Now I will take care of this one. As soon as I get a shield, I will take care of that one over there. He's casting regrowth. Right, shield on that one. That will bring him in a little bit closer. Then we can remove that one. And now you, we can start taking you down as well. And I should be able to finish you off just with this last little bit. So that's what I'm hoping. And then. So I've done that. I'll be able to mine what I set out to do in the first place, mine that one. And then I want to do a little bit of fishing. Just, just a quiet little bit of fishing uninterrupted. And with it. God, there we go. Right. Take him down before bad things happen. Now do that. A little bit of mining. A little bit of drenic stone. That's good. And then we start going towards the water again. Right. So we want to head over this way. I've got flying things all over. I've got things casting spells all over. Generally, it's just, just bad news everywhere. And then over here, I've got Fossil Wood the Petrified. I'll leave him alone. Uh, nothing here. This side of Gorgrond, some of it becomes desert and some of it isn't, if I remember correctly. You, saw, you got sort of half and half. Now, these jawless skulkers. Where else am I going to fight? i got some ore down here somewhere. Where is that? Where is... I don't know. There was... Well, it, it says there's ore there, but I'm starting to think that maybe it's lying to me. I don't see any fish over this way. All of those fish. We've seen the fish... They were all the way back over there, right? They, they, they were over that side, and there, there doesn't seem... There's more ponds over this way. Maybe, maybe we need to go that way. We'll have a look up this side, because there might be something in this one. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, right. you got to do a quest in order to be able to remove those and, and to be able to get that. But there is a Jawless Skulker School over that side, and this one I can actually go fishing in. There we go. Let's back up a little bit there. And perfect. Now we can actually go fishing in the final one, which will get us... I only need one more of these. I'll fish this one out. But I'm pretty sure I only need one more there. The enormous skulker there. And gut and clean. Five enormous ones. And that'll get me the eggs I need. And then we'll just go here and we'll get a couple more of these um, uh, skulkers anyway. Just to, just to clean out the rest of the pond. As soon as we can. And then we will half back home. Drenor fishing is now at level 50. That's pretty good going, I would say. Level 50 Drenor fishing. That's, I think it go. What does it go up to? Oh, I don't remember now. Is it, uh, let's, let's do one more fishing. I'm doing that. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I'll do one more just in case we can get a, a different level of uh, Drenor fish. Small crescent saber fish. We've got several of those. Uh, professions and fishing right here. Fishing. Well, we're going to have to put a stop to it now for a little while, folks, because I'm getting a bit parched. I'm also a bit peckish. So I'm going to have a bite to eat and a little bit to drink, and then we can continue onwards. In the meantime, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.